we are T minus five days until our Disney cruise and I am so excited to share today's video with you because I want to show you all of the things that I bring on my Disney cruise from Amazon. Some are going to be cruise specific, but for the most part, you'll be able to bring these on all of your vacations to come. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started right away. So the first thing is going to be no surprise. I've showed this on a lot of my other videos on my other channel, Lux and Life Genie, and it is going to be my toiletry bag. I bring this thing on every single trip because it is so space saving and it just carries everything. It's got all different kinds of compartments. It's got a great little hook that spins around and holds everything. I like to do everything kind of separate. If you have four people in your family, two kids could go on the end here and then mom and dad on the center compartment. It's going to hold so much stuff. Our cruise is going to be a seven night cruise. And so we're gonna need to be bringing a good chunk of things. So this is going to be super beneficial and I love that it has the front pouch on here. Any paperwork, anything I forget, curling iron, whatever could sit in that pouch. It'll definitely stick out, but it at least will keep it all together. Um, but I love this one so much. The other thing that I love to bring is going to be a pop-up hamper. This is one where you kind of twist it and it, you know, holds really small. This is typically how I keep it. And then it has a little bungee, a little, you know, I can't think of it, like elastic band that's gonna keep it all together. I bring this thing on every trip. Now, because we're going for longer, we're probably gonna have to bring um, some laundry detergent. They have all that in the ship too. Uh, but I think we are gonna have to do laundry because this is going to hold quite a bit. But at the same time, I don't wanna come home to a ton of clothes being dirty or be overpacking. So there are things that I'm going to have to, you know, wash and rewear and stuff on the ship. So having a laundry basket that I can just bring to the laundry room is going to be super helpful. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because a lot of this stuff I have already shown you guys, um, but I wanna go a little bit more in depth and give you guys links for everything that I'm showing you. These are bomb. I shared these on Instagram and you guys loved them. Um, they are water shoes. These are my husband's. These he has worn now a couple times. They're very comfortable. I will say like if you're in a wave pool, the first time he wore them was to Blizzard Beach and it, you know, walking through the water and everything was a little much because it got a little bit heavy because they have all holes through here and then on the top that water does go in there and then they get a little bit heavier with your feet. However, they dry up really nice. So on a ship, those decks, especially in the summertime, get so hot. So this you can wear to your room, in the pool, on the decks, slip them on and off. They're really easy. These are also like a bungee and you can go ahead and tighten them, loosen them, whatever you need, but they're very, very comfortable. He really, really enjoys these. And then for my kids, these are my daughters. My son has a black pair. Um, they get multiple uses out of these. They can be thrown in the washer. I just let them air dry. They're Velcro. They can get them on and off themselves. Even if they're kind of in between sizes, I would size up. And they are very stretchy. They are not, I'd say, the best quality. However, my kids are hard on their shoes, especially at a water park, you know, at a pool, things like that. They scuff up their toes. These have lasted many, many, many trips. So actually, these ones are brand new. The previous ones, they probably got a whole summer's worth with multiple trip uses out of them and they lasted a really long time. So I went ahead and got them a fresh pair. Uh, and a lot of the times these do get like a coupon on Amazon. So make sure you're watching out for those. On Instagram, we had a fun little DIY day and I took my Lululemon bum bag and I got a little Disney patch, which was also from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I just did some fabric glue and attached it on here. The Lululemon one is really hard to find, but I found a really good dupe on Amazon and it comes in a ton of different colors. The reason why I like this is I don't typically like to wear a lanyard and I need my room key otherwise I forget it. I need my Apple Pay on my phone. I need a couple things with me at all times. Anything for my kids. Um, so I like to have this and it's super comfortable, breathable uh, and I don't have like a silly lanyard and pictures. So I'll do something more like this and it's going to still carry everything that I need. And again the Lululemon one is super inexpensive 
but the one that I found you guys is a really, really, really good dupe. A great little compact wallet is really, really nice to have. So if you have a card holder, those all will work well. Anything kind of small and compact like this will work great. This is my Disney one. I did pick this up on Amazon. It is not Loungefly, but I would definitely say it's close to Loungefly quality. It is very, very nice. It's got a great little plaque there. It's got the little Mickey ears. It's super classic. Like, look at the details. It's really awesome. I like that my ID can be on here, my key to the world card, room key, debit card, credit card, all those things can be back there. And then also on the back, it has a little pouch. So something like this inside the bum bag is going to be perfect. I have baggies and baggies and baggies of these and my kids love them. Crocs are super easy for them at the parks, on the ship, on running around town, just, you know, grab and go. So we dress up our Crocs. We typically will just buy the plain Crocs for them and then we'll dress them up unless I can find the Star Wars ones on sale like I did at the Disney store. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that video down below. But these are great little charms. They just pop on and off. And they are not the Crocs brand, but they are very good quality. I will say these have gone through so many different trips. I'll give you guys a couple different options of Disney ones down below, but these are really, really great. I know it's tacky in this little bag, but hey, I'm trying to be authentic here. This is where I store them and I just tend to bring them all because then they can swap them out per day. If they lose them, not a big deal. They're super inexpensive. If you guys have watched my vlogs, you guys see me talk about these water bottles all the time. They are dishwasher safe. They are silicone. I'm going to go ahead and link you guys some Disney options. I just ordered some and they haven't come in here. I'll pop it on the screen. Uh, they're really, really, really cute for the kids. So I ordered those for our new park ones and then also for another trip. Um, but these ones are really great for us adults because like I said, they are collapsible. They are silicone. They can be thrown in the dishwasher. I bring these to the parks. I bring these for weekend getaways. I love them so much. Um, and so for on a Disney cruise, you get those free refilling stations that you can do your soda your pop your tea your water whatever you need your juice um, and that can all go in here but these save a ton of space they're really lightweight and they're silicone so it's perfect we are a family of four and sometimes even a family of six when my parents come with us on different trips so i just picked this up on amazon and it is wonderful i'm going to go ahead and pop a picture on the screen here of a better look of you guys can see when it's all put together and drinks are in here but it's a six cup holder carrier for your drink. So uh, us on our ship, we have to go, I believe up to deck nine or 10 for our refilling stations um, up by the pool. So instead of multiple of us, you know, having to carry our own stuff up here, just one person can go grab all the drinks, all the refills, and this one holds six. They do have different size options, but it's got a little place for a key, a car, whatever you need. It's a really, really nice quality. I was shocked. Um, really inexpensive and I would definitely, definitely, definitely pick this up. Even if you're not going on a cruise and you're going to the parks, I would definitely pick this up because if you get the refillable mugs, if you are grabbing drinks, carrying things to the room, this is bomb. And the thing that I like is it doesn't have to be just for drinks because these little Velcro things come off, the little separators. So you could carry, you know, different snacks, um, cookies, cupcakes, all the little things that we get and then it carries them all in the room for you. It's definitely a must to get. I would highly, out of all the things I'm gonna show you today, this is probably my favorite. This is not a necessity by any means, but this is something that I travel with all the time. It's this little Mickey, AirPod Pro case. I'll give you guys some pro um, ones down below along with just like the standard AirPods um, because they have some really cute options. This was really inexpensive on Amazon and I like that it's silicone so it's great for you know not collecting those germs but then also it just slides on and off really easy. I've never lost a piece. It's never like come undone or anything but I love this. Every time I go on a Disney trip I definitely add this on even then after I get home. I don't know if I really take it off right away because I just love it so much. The colors are great. It's really really inexpensive. I love it. If you are like my kids that love to look out to the water, see if they can find anything, get yourself an inexpensive pair of binoculars. I love these. It came with their own little case. It came with like little guard for the lenses. They're really, really nice. My kids can play with these all the time and I don't really worry about them because they weren't super expensive. But this is something that stays in our cruise bin, which I have right here. I have a bin just full of our cruise stuff. 
Um, and I always have these in here. I always make sure to bring them. Even if you don't have a veranda room, a balcony room, I would still recommend getting these because your kids will love them. I even enjoy just having a cup of coffee and looking out at the water and seeing land and seeing different ships and that. Um, it's a really, really inexpensive item to bring. It doesn't take up that much space. They're not really heavy. I would definitely recommend bringing a pair of binoculars. I know it sounds corny, but I do really enjoy it. If you're going on a Disney cruise, all those character experiences are a big deal. That is typically when we do a lot of our character experiences is on a Disney cruise because you can just fly through and meet so many amazing characters. If you are gonna be doing autographs, I would definitely recommend picking up some of these Sharpies. I did gold and silver. I plan on doing something a little bit more unique. Hopefully it all works out, so stay tuned to the vlogs. Um, that'll be coming up here very shortly. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you which ones to get. So I like Sharpie brand. I did get the silver and gold and they are the big ones. It is much easier for those characters to give autographs when they have something big. It's typically not something thin and small. It's going to be too hard for them to hold on to. So grabbing something like fat and chunky like this is going to work much better. Magnets are a necessity. It is going to be my son's birthday while well, we're going to be on a cruise and we made him something really unique. We actually did this on a cruise that we were supposed to go on that we didn't end up getting to go on. That's for a whole nother day. It was the worst experience ever. It was not Disney. It's for another day. Talk to me on Instagram and we'll go for it there. But um, I actually made these last year and I'm excited to bring it again for this year to actually be able to use them. But look at how cute. They are just banners for like birthday party decorations and then what I did is I got a roll of magnets I'll link everything down below but I'm going to decorate our room he's in the next room so I don't want to hear it so when I'm giving you guys a room tour we're going to decorate the room for his birthday all the walls the doors everything is all magnetic it's all metal so this we can decorate the walls and do everything on it and it won't it won't do any harm so we have so many really fun characters um, that I got I got a ton of them you guys, I, I'm so excited to share. And then I picked up, or I think it actually came with this like happy birthday banner. And I put magnets all on the back. So I'm excited to decorate the room for him. Talking a little bit more about magnets. I also want to go ahead and show you guys these. I hope I can find them. They're like little emoji magnets. They interchange these all the time. We decorate our door with these. Um, and they're super inexpensive. They love them so much. But then also we have Christmas ones. So you can find Santa. Here's his beard. Um, you can find Santa. You can find Halloween ones. I'll pop some pictures here on the screen so you guys can see um, of the ones that we got. They have snowman. They have all different kinds, but they're so fun to decorate your door. Even if you're not going on a Disney cruise, I would definitely recommend going and picking up some magnets and like mine was for like a fridge you don't even have to do disney ones you can do all different kinds but this was for a fridge magnet you can do a car magnet they're so inexpensive compared to the etsy one girl i'm all about supporting you guys on etsy but it's a little expensive compared to amazon so i want to go ahead and show you guys those and then also this is key. So to hang your lanyards, to hang anything that you need to on the walls, it's kind of like a little hook. And what it does is we keep our lanyards on our door. So before they, the kids leave to go to kids club, anything we run at the door, our lanyards are right there in our face and they're hanging on these little magnets. I believe it comes in like a four pack or six pack. They're really awesome. I typically bring extras because I sometimes will meet new cruisers and they're struggling and we'll get to talking and I just give them that and the best little thing to have because I am constantly getting locked out of my room if I don't have my room key. So having them in my face before I leave the room to be able to grab them is perfect. You guys probably saw that I was storing all of my Christmas magnets in one of these folders. I get these in a multi-pack on Amazon. I have this one empty because I want to tell you all the things that I use it for. I have one that's all Halloween themed. I have a Christmas themed one. I have birthday themed ones. I have all different ones for these, but then also I'm old school. I'm 34, but I'm really like 54. 
and I like to have hard copies of everything. So I have my passport, birth certificate, all the things that we need to be able to cruise um, and for an identification. However, I still like to have a printed boarding pass, all of our paper reservation copies. So when they're asking what's your reservation number, I can have it either written right here and it's going to be able to pop everything up and I don't have to have things memorized or I just have everything right here as well. Like all the hard copies of things because sometimes internet doesn't work. Our Wi-Fi doesn't work. Service sucks. So this is my good backup to where you're not like scrambling. You just have this in your bag ready to go as I'm walking through the terminal. This is how I am because again I'm 54 not 34 and I like to have everything right here. So it just makes everything so much simpler and I stress way less. These are a staple as well. Again if you guys are like me you keep everything together in like bins so this is in my just standard vacation bin i bring this on almost every vacation warm or cold because they're great they're just cool clips but what i do is i hang up our swimsuits any towels any washcloths or anything that need to dry i mean you get fresh things all the time um but i will clip them onto a chair in the bathtub anything and then same if you're on a ski trip or something and you have wet socks wet clothes hang these to um a chair on the shower make sure it's not too heavy and it won't like fall these will go ahead and secure it I don't typically bring all of these. I usually bring like one or two per person um, as like a, a count of, to be able to gauge what we all need. But these are bomb. It doesn't come in this case. I This is actually from a pool float from like forever ago. But this is just how I store them at home. Again, being 100% authentic. Um, but this works really, really great. Go Disney or go home, right? Again, with those little hooks. This is something fun that I just picked up this year. They're still in the box. They're little fairy lights, but they're Mickey's. I found these on Amazon, but they also have them at Walmart. And I saw yesterday at Walmart, they had the mini and Mickey. I'll try and find both and link them down below. I know they have these, obviously I bought them there on Amazon and I'll link them, but they're really, really cute. They're just battery operated and they're so much fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang it along the door. I was thinking about getting garland, but I'm, that's a little messy. But this is super fun, and it just gives like a little light. I might just do like a little arch or something above our door. I don't know. I haven't quite decided, but this just puts a little extra touch. Um, and I think it's so, so cute and so inexpensive. This thing is bomb. This is a travel booster seat. So my daughter is six, and she is little for six. And even if she wasn't, she still needs to be in a booster seat. So Anytime we need to take an Uber, anything, we won't need to this time. Um, but I always have this in my travel bins because they're so great. And what it is, it's a booster seat, but it kind of adjusts the seatbelt so it comes to hit at her shoulder. It's all adjustable to wherever she needs it to be. Um, but it makes it so much easier. Instead of lugging, you know, a big car seat or anything, um, a booster seat, this is much easier. You'll need to read the specific guidelines that's going to work for your child and make sure this will work for you guys. But they, I haven't found this one on Amazon. I think they've been sold out for a while. I found another really great option that has a ton of really good reviews, and I'll link it down below. But something like this is great. And FYI, if you're getting on a plane and you're needing to travel, this is heavy it, i mean it's not super heavy but i mean it's going to weigh your luggage so when you're going and checking your bags i check it i just put it on the outside flap of my luggage or i put it just on like the top of where i could just unzip it really quick and grab it but this is heavy so it's going to weigh your luggage down a little bit more so you they don't charge you when you're going through you know and checking your luggage at the airport to carry this is free just like a stroller diaper bag all of those things every airline across the board they let you obviously bring a um stroller car seat anything like this so take this out show this to them and then when they're done they'll definitely let you add it back in so you're not having to carry this through the airport but it's super super handy if you're ever worried, which I'm worried every time, if you're ever worried about getting motion sickness, anything like that, and again, not just for cruises, if you're going on an airplane, cars, roller coasters, whatever, bring some anti-nausea, like motion sickness. Um, these are great. I got the chewables for the kids. These are great flavored. And then I got some Bonine for us. Um, it's the less drowsy. They have non-drowsy. They have a ton of different options. These are my two favorites. I will go ahead and link them down below. I am honestly thinking about just putting 
putting some in my car because they're so handy to have. So I would definitely pick these up, bring a lot more than you thought, but these are really, really small things that you can add into your purse, your backpack, your bum bag, and carry them with you wherever you need and they'll be perfect. Harley came to say hello, you guys. So if you see me giving him love, that's he, that's what he's here for. Um, now with traveling and vlogging and filming with you guys, I need to have extra ports because I have extra chargers, batteries, all these things that I need to keep readily available. So I went ahead and ordered another one of these. You cannot bring extension cords, power strips, anything like that, that is contraband. You cannot bring any of those stuff on a cruise ship. So you can bring these, these are perfectly fine to use. You can use these for computers, um, USB ports, whatever you need, but it's just gonna give you more plug options. So for your phones, iPads, chargers, camera batteries, whatever you guys might need. This is a four, a four pack, and it has the on and off buttons, which I kind of liked. Um, but these are really, really, really great options. And so we will have now two of these on our trip. So that's an additional eight plugs that we will be able to have, which is huge, huge, huge on these cruise ships. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is my packing cubes. I have a lot of them. Here's my reasoning why I have so many and why I love packing cubes. Do I think that they save space? No, I think they take up more space. However, what I love is that I can have one packing cube per person per day. And I can put a little thing saying Monday's outfits, Tuesday's outfits. I can toss it to the kids and they can get themselves ready and they're wearing exactly what I want. There's no thought process to it. Sometimes I don't have my coffee until later. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood. So I can go ahead and hand them a small packing cube. It comes in a ton of different sizes. There's a whole pack. I'll go ahead and pop a picture here on the screen so you guys can kind of see. But there's options for shoes, big things like like this that I just have all of mine stored in, but they are really, really great to have. So you could actually put your whole family's outfits into one packing cube, and this is Monday's clothes, Tuesday's clothes. It just is a no brainer, easy thing to do to just make life so much easier on vacation. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything is gonna be linked down below in the order in which I showed you. But if you haven't already done so and you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.